Another way you might have to use the PADI RDP table is to calculate the maximum depth you could go to on a repetitive dive if you knew what dive time you wanted to do and you already had some nitrogen in you from a previous dive. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at in this question. You have just completed a dive to 40 feet for 70 minutes, followed by a surface interval of 40 minutes. What is the maximum depth you could go to if you want a dive time of 50 minutes? As always, I'm going to lay out a diagram to neatly organize my workings. Uh, because it's a table question, I've got the ABT and RNT calculation in there. Uh, another example of a question where it won't actually be required, though. So what we need to do is start from the left of the diagram and work towards the right, filling in the information we do have. So the first dive was 40 feet and the time of that dive was 70 minutes so we can enter that information in and then carrying on working from left to right we have our surface interval blank that can be filled in because we're given that in the question it's 40 minutes and then the final bit of information we have is our dive time of 50 minutes so where are we going to put that well it doesn't really matter whether you put it in actual bottom time or total bottom time um, will have the information in the right place to answer the question when we need it. So focusing now on that first dive, going back and working through the diagram from left to right, we've got a 40 foot dive for 70 minutes and a blank for pressure group. We need to find that pressure group using side one of the table. So looking at our table, finding the 40 feet column, we can scroll down that until we find our dive time, which was 70 minutes. Now we can't find 70 minutes, so we're going to have to round up to 74 minutes. And that is going to put us in pressure group Q. So now we know our pressure group is Q. We can fill that in on the diagram. And now we are continuing working from left to right the next blank we've got is a pressure group after the surface interval the information we're going to use to find that is the two bits of information before that blank the fact that we ended dive one in pressure group Q and our surface interval is 40 minutes so scrolling along uh, I'll zoom in so it's easier to see scrolling along we have got pressure group Q when we find the range that our surface interval falls within we will see that it is going to be this range here 37 to 42 minutes and that would put us in pressure group I so at the end of the surface interval before we get in the water for our second dive we will be in pressure group I so what information are we left with the next uh, blank uh, we uh, We've only got one new bit of information. We've got pressure group I and then we've got a blank. So somehow we've got to use the information that comes after that blank, uh, which we can do on side two of the table. So we knew that we're in pressure group I and the other bit of information that we took was that we want to do a 50 minute uh, dive. So how are we going to find the depth here? Well, we're going to use that 50 minutes and pressure group I uh, and that should help us figure out what the maximum depth we could go to is. So how are we going to do it? Let's work up the I column from the bottom upwards and what we're looking at is the numbers in blue, the underwater numbers because we know our actual bottom time is going to be 50 minutes. So when we scroll up we see, oh we see are close to 50 minutes there but it's not 50 minutes so we need to keep going up and the next number is way higher it's a hundred minutes that is the one we're gonna have to go for which would mean that our maximum depth would be 40 feet so now we can enter that in and we have got our answer uh, I've got lots more videos like this on the website www.goprocaribbean.com by viewing them through that website you're going to be able to uh, watch them in a logical order which will make it easier to understand.